Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new so far. We are jumping in again. Let's try and rebuild a streak a little bit, shall we? Who should we play as today? I'm feeling... Should we try and go for the last lost mark? Getting getting ourselves Godhead? Delirium obviously is a tricky one, but let's, let's give it a go. I do enjoy a good lost run here and there. Uh, we've been playing lost a lot recently, I feel like, but... I don't know, I, I, I've i really, really enjoyed playing them, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them as well. I want to say, I'll say, I've noticed there's been some really strange stuff going on with the Isaac series views recently. Like, some episodes are doing just normal, like, eight, nine hundred, uh, like, sort of seven, eight, nine hundred views. Then other episodes are getting, like, four hundred or less, and it, it, I don't know, it's strange. There's been some oddities going on with it recently, and I'm not entirely sure what that's been about. Um, Chastity's fine it's a little bit of extra damage but with since there's a reroll machine in there i'm kind of more tempted to go for a reroll um if i can this, this room's gonna be a real big real big annoyance um let's try and take out the fat boys first their farts are uh, kind of annoying now because they do the big spreading fires we're gonna be kind of careful of them i think this guy's the reforming guy as well so oh no he's not okay All Right. You're taken care of, and it's just you left. Okay, you didn't put out too many, uh, too many children, which I'm very respectful of. It's very, very nice of you. But yeah, it's been a bit weird recently. I don't really know what's been going on. I mean, I it's always going to be the case that Isaac, where it will slowly die off. I mean, no one's going to watch Isaac forever, I guess. Um, but it is always strange that it sort of ebbs and flows. It seems to be something to do with the time of the year as well. Um... Towards the end, towards Christmas, and then January is usually pretty bad for YouTube views, so... I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Either way, as for the question of the day today... Um... Hmm... I've asked this one before, but I'll ask it again, because I feel like people can have a second answer. And, um, I feel like people that haven't answered it, it might have been a while. What would be your budget superpower? What, what would you love to have as just, like, it's pretty, it's pretty useless. But it's got some really specific use cases that would be really enjoyable or fun. I love the uh, reading through the subreddit that's like budget superpowers. There's some really, really funny ones on there. Um, we do got butter. Um, well, I was about to say, yeah, do you know what? Care style is actually not bad. Care style is actually not bad. When you're when you're rocking, what's it called? Um, the Lost. Care is not terrible, so I'll take it. So we don't have to deal with the teleporting effects. Now we just get slightly more damage via the charge shots, which I don't I don't even really know how much more damage it realistically adds, but it's it's something I guess. Um, if we find another active item, I guess we can go and plop it in the um, in the room with the reroll machine. But we've not really got a lot of money to work with right now, so... We'll see if we actually get money to make that sort of viable. We are playing as regular loss, so we can get in here for free. We get ourselves Justice, which is rather nice. And we get ourselves a Soul of Azazel, which could be pretty useful. I guess I can just smush the boss with it, or I can save it to a little bit later when it's probably a little bit more appropriate. I've not really got a plan for it right now. It depends what boss we get, I guess. Depends how annoyed I am by by just seeing the boss. Triple keys is lovely. We're going delirium here, so we want to basically take our time every floor and make sure we kind of min-max as much as we can. Um, we do start with golden bombs on this floor as well, which on an XL floor is actually not bad at all. Luckily, we didn't get any extra spiders there, but sadly, no money. It's kind of the main thing I was hoping for there. Right. Golden bombs, golden bombs. Okay. I think I grab Humbling Bundle here. Um, Good stuff, and hope I can get some more money throughout the rest of this floor via Humbling Bundle. We'll see. Bad loss of thingy there, but shouldn't matter. Yeah, Humbling Bundle, of course, doesn't work every time, but it's still pretty useful. 
Got some double keys here. Single penny, sadly. Okay, these guys are a little, little more treacherous. But nothing to sort of worry about too much. More golden bombs. Not that we needed them, but thank you. Right, okay. So, first things first, let's try and find our secret rooms. Um, I'm not exactly sure where they'll be, but let's let's take a little time to, to take a little look around. We can also try and bomb for what's it called as well. Don't think it's going to be in any of these, but I'm checking anyways. Just checking everywhere I can think of. It could possibly be a secret room. Could go and destroy all those rocks, but that seems tedious as shit. Okay, let's destroy all of these real quick, see if we can get some extra pennies. Sadly not. Secret room or secret room? Where art thou? There's one. Just a bunch of batteries. Hold off on using those for now. Okay. Again, more pots. Try and get the quarter if we can. It's unlikely, obviously, but you can't you can't deny that the chance is there. We've got to we've got to take our opportunities when we see them. Trying to find ourselves that crawl space, but not having very good luck. A second secret room. Now, something I'm curious about is that we do have... Oh, I do not like this room. Okay, there's some more money there. Don't think the Zella Heart does anything for us. Um, is we do have the, the, the broken card thing as our trinket. Does that mean there's a second secret room this floor? Or does that only apply from the second floor onwards? I'm not entirely sure. Right, anyways, let's get to doing a bit of re-rolling here. And try and get something a little bit better. Um, piercing plus spectral, I'd say, is pretty good. Obviously, we already have um, spectral, but I think piercing is going to be real good. So, I think I'll take that. And that's good enough to go for. Now, I don't think there's anything else we can really do on this floor at this point. I don't know where this other secret room would be, should it be anywhere. I could go in and butter to um, to drop my active and reroll that. But, I don't know, this active is potentially pretty good. It's not always good, but it's potentially pretty good. I'm going to want to up that shot speed as soon as I can, though. Should be using bombs, really. Well, that was easy. Rose is good stuff for fire rate. Right? Good, good. Um, and honestly, I think a speed upgrade is pretty good. Size down is also nice. And we'll check what we've got going on in here. Considering the amount of keys we have, I think it's fair that we take Guppy's tail at this point. We're going to be getting more and more from humbling bundles. I think that's all good. I think we're just good to leave this floor. Pretty pretty easy first floor, realistically. Nothing went too awry for us, which is fine. Um, right. One second. Okay, let's keep on moving. Let's check this out. Um, okay, kind of a tricky one here. I think it's probably best that we go for the chest and hope for the best. Ah, unfortunate. And we've got our cracked key here, which we'll use. I guess I'll just use it here. Cracked. We've got an extra arcade, which is something, I guess. Not anything super important, sadly, but it's something. Okay. Firming boys, careful about them. Okay, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. 
Got a decent run together. Got quite a lot of money here to work with. I'm actually pretty happy to have Cursed Eye right now, surprisingly so. That's not Secret Room, surprisingly, as well. That was a little bit scary there. I kind of didn't move when I should have moved. What we got going on in here, then? While holding the fire button, um... While holding the fire button, short-range short, short range tears also shoot from Isaac's tide. Sideways tears leave sticky creep. That seems decent enough. Yeah, considering we're holding fire a lot, leaving the sticky creep around, even if the tears don't hit, is probably pretty valuable. I think this is good. This isn't another XL floor, is it? No, just a lot of big rooms. Or at least big rooms next to one another. A little bit of an awkward room here. Honestly, the shot speed is the biggest thing that's annoying me right now. I'm having kind of a hard time dealing with it. It's also making it seem like I'm not firing as many tiers when I do a full charge. Because they're all collected on top of one another. Right, take care of these fairy dudes first, because they're like the most dangerous. These guys, certainly not dangerous at all. And then, just you? Oh, you're the purple champion as well. Okay, it's a purple enemy that's also the purple champion. That's slightly confusing. What, so, that was really confusing. So, I did a full spray, like a full charged up cursed eye, and it one shot one of these dudes. Then I hit them all with the tears at once the next time, a different one. They were all bunched up, and it did less damage. So, when they're bunched on top of each other, does it genuinely mean that the tears do less damage? Because it kind of seems like it does. I'm liking leaving all this creep around. Rather nice. Oh man, how are you not dead? Goddamn hate hosts. I do like the fact that when they're stunned though, they just don't shoot. It's really enjoyable to see. That was a horrible room, that was. Definitely gonna need some damage. Yeah, I think when they're like stacked on top of each other, it genuinely does less damage, which is confusing as to why that would be. More bombs coming our way, lovely. Got a shop here as well. Okay. More chests, good old toy drum. Certainly don't dislike that. Extra boss items is also very high on my list of things that I want all the time. Oh my lord. The money comes rolling in. Like I said, we're taking our time here, so I'm going to take a little bit of a look around, see if there's anything else we can do. But yeah, Toy Drum's pretty useful for us here. It's obviously only periodical extra damage, but it is extra damage nonetheless. So whereabouts is Secret Room, then? Did I did I check up here? I did check up there. Um, Did I check here? No, I did not. This is potentially pretty good. Unfortunately, it is not pretty good. God damn it. So there should be a, another secret room somewhere about, to be honest. Let's go through these rooms and see if we can find a good contender for where that might be. I'm loving this random stunning effect from my smell of trinket. Yeah, there's our next secret room. Good, good. So much money, god damn. Hopefully our red chest eventually pays out with something worthwhile, because so far it's kind of been a shit fest. It's not been great. Right, do you know what? This is an, a boss that could be annoying. Let's not take the risk. Really? Oh, that's that's super depressing. Um, Entering room with hostile enemies with the highest HP will be marked. Killing the enemy grants you two damage up for the rest of the room. If the enemy is a boss, it persists. Okay, that sounds really good. Um, little bit annoyed that I rerolled both of my boss items and both of them fucking disappeared. That's just 
goddamn rude. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. But yeah, this this thing giving us um this bonus damage when we if we kill the the right enemy, it's pretty good stuff for us. Not particularly happy with Wishburn to be honest. And the fact that if it's a boss, it just gives us fading damage is really nice as well. So many bombs, goddamn. Sissy, oh, into GB bug. That's definitely going to reroll into nothing next. I can just feel it. But I will, I will try my hardest to um, see it through and hope it doesn't. Straight in here. Reroll that. Dude, this game. It's like, ooh, you're playing as the loss. Would you like just tons of HP ups? No. No, I goddamn wouldn't. No, I goddamn wouldn't. They literally do nothing for me. I realize that one is also a luck upgrade, but it's still like, come on, game. You know what you're doing. You know you've been a piece of shit right now, right? Yeah, at least we got all the keys back there. Okay, that's something. It's not great, but it's something. Okay, I'm not particularly enthused about the prospect of the rest of this room. Now that I've taken damage, but we'll we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm fucked. Okay, I keep accidentally pushing the bombs towards myself. If I could stop doing that, that'd be great. Okay, that was that was way too close. Um, yeah, I'll take that for now. That was way too close. My god. Yep, I knew it. For some reason, the second reroll is just so often the one that deletes the item. Oh my god, we got heart-shaped balloon out of that. That's... Fucking nuts. I mean, unfortunately, that item is literally useless for us. So we're going to have to re-roll it. But that is such an insane item to get from one of those chests. <laughs> Emperor's probably pretty useful to hold on to. Right, let's go re-roll this heart-shaped balloon into nothing. Do 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 do. Oh no, we got soap box, which is also fucking useless. I mean, the, did you know what? Actually, plus two range actually isn't that bad. I'm gonna take it rather than rather than re-rolling it into nothing. Because I know it's gonna re-roll into nothing. We all know it's gonna re-roll into nothing. So rather than befall that fate, let's um, let's just take it. <laughs> right, let's carry on. We've seen our item room. We've not seen our shop yet, and our shops are pretty valuable this time around. Uh, secret room could be here. That it is. And we get Dad's ring. While it's not incredible, I'd say Dad's ring's good enough to grab, just because it protects us from certain um, chasing enemies. Obviously, re-rolling that into an item um, that we could get from a secret room pool would obviously have been better, but I think under the circumstances this is fine. Yeah, my, mine. Very much mine, thank you. Okay, weird room. There's that other secret room, which is a crawl space. Which I will reroll into Flatstone is fine. I'll just take it. It just has some interesting synergies, so I'll give it. I'll give it a grab. Yeah, Flatstone overall. Also, actually, to be fair, does it create more? Oh no, it doesn't. I was hoping it'd create more pools of um, of wax with our wax item, but I don't think it does. Right in the shop, we've got Perkigo, which I'll take, and. This, which I'll also take. Not bad. We got some good stuff going on. Pokeko is also just really nice to have. Get rid of 
rid of him real quick. Hero font does nothing for us. We got our Emperor card going here. We do have Golden Bombs, remember. Didn't think he'd quite whack the bomb that far away, but he did. There you go. Um. Ooh, okay. Yes, this is this is tricky, this one, because obviously Mum's suppository is real goddamn good. Um, but this could be really good too. Obviously, we're taking perfection. Um, I'm trying to think what would be better. So, that would give us a, a, a 1.5 damage multiplier, but with a bit of a damage down. Um, so, it definitely gives us a damage up right now. Whereas, this could give um, a bunch of different stat upgrades. I'm going to go for this, because we've got a lot of money right now. And hope for the best. Unfortunately, so far, yeah, didn't didn't do great. We did get two shot speeds up, which I'm very happy for. Three look upgrades is kind of whatever, because we've got perfection. Um, the three tiers ups are very, very nice. I think overall that was that was probably worthwhile. And then Devil Deal, what we got going on in here. Oh, it's Cramp Arena, hello. The other one that doesn't fire brimstones. We will indeed take Lump of Coal. Especially now that we've got good range. I guess I'll bomb these just in case we get ourselves a thingy. It's a reroll. Ghost Baby, Dry Baby, whichever one it is that you get from those. I think we're on our way down now. I think that was overall pretty positive. I was hoping to get some damage ups from that thing, but it is what it is. My damage isn't exactly bad. We do have this fading damage from the boss kill as well. Which is working for us reasonably well. I mean, we're getting some pretty goddamn quick kills right now. So, I think our stats are in a good place. This is only Necro 1, so let's just go straight to the boss. It means we get that damage boost for the rest of the floor. Also means if we get a devil deal, we get our item straight away. Uh, we'll be taking Blood Clot here, I think. Makes the most sense to me. But yeah, I think, think we're in a good spot. Blood Clot, plus two damage on our left eye. I think that makes a lot of sense for us too. Shop as well, here we come. We're doing a pretty good job with Perkigo as well. It's giving us quite a lot of, quite a lot of fellas. Certainly don't mind picking up a few unique guys. Also, Guppy's tail has been real good for us recently. Uh, Lantern Battery, although not very good with this active, is a very good item in general and we can afford it, so I'm just going to take it. Do you know what I'd really like with this run? Good old Cricket's Body. Cricket's Body would, would work so well with what we've got going on right now. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Moon card, I guess I'll just pop. Okay, so this is definitely one we're going to reroll. Enemies have a luck-based chance to cause a dice item uh, effect. Why not? That sounds wacky as shit. So quality 4 as well, so I imagine it's pretty good. Seems like it's going to be fucking dangerous, but fun. Also, okay, I think we I think we're able to DA ourselves by um <laughs> Oh god, that item just got re-rolled about a billion times. Okay, the item's gone now. <laughs> what the fuck? This is uh chaotic. I wonder if I can re-roll myself, because that's gonna be kinda wacky. I, I very highly doubt it, but. <laughs> okay, the the D8 of it all is going to be a little bit spicy, I'd say. But the, the fact that I have really high luck means that just shit's happening all the time, too. My goodness. 
That's a guppy item. Don't kill anything. Don't kill anything. Don't want to re-roll guppy item. We are one-off guppy right now. Which I haven't had in quite some time. I do like the fact that we're getting uh, D10 in there and re-rolling enemies. That's rather nice. Although, I believe Dusty D10 is in there too, which is works the same way the old D10 does. And we don't really want that. The, the, the most dangerous one is probably going to be the, D, um, the D12. Because we could easily just re-roll some, like, a rock that we're sat on top of into a spiked rock. So basically, we can't sit over the top of rocks anymore. It's just not safe. Um, but we could re-roll into purple fires and all sorts of stuff, so that's going to be dangerous. But I think overall, this is pretty fun. This is this is pretty entertaining for a, for a run. I, it's probably not conducive to our success, mind you. It's probably not going to be uh, great for staying alive. But I think otherwise, it's going to be pretty fun. <laughs> It's always nice to, like, get new items that are a bit wacky every now and again as well. Just re-rolling everything. My god. Okay, we've got some good items from chests here, which I, I very much like to see. Okay, this room is a room of nothing. I used the eternal D12 there and removed every everything on the floor. That was pretty funny. Oh god, there was a spike chest in there that I did not see. I'll, I'll take that big old pill in a second. Okay, I don't think that does anything for us. But yeah, we are going to be getting a wide variety of enemies that we're fighting against here. God, I've hurt myself already. Okay. Back through here, back through here. Just in case. Oh my god, no. Okay, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I re-rolled the item, I was like, no, I'm so disappointed with my re-roll. And then I re-rolled it again into something really good. <laughs> Black Doll would have also been good, but now that we've got this damage multiplier, I'm pretty happy. I do feel like there's basically no way we live to Delirium here, but let's be hopeful, shall we? Okay. Oh my god. See, that's the shit that's dangerous. Just re-rolling every motherfucking thing in the entire room into a bunch of dangerous shit. The D12 is gonna be... Oh god, I've D... I've D7'd the room. <laughs> this is not good. I kill everything, just in case. I got three room rewards for that. Well, that was something. Yeah. <laughs> this is very, very wacky. Very enjoyable, but very wacky. Stop restarting the room. The D7 is a... Is a terrible, terrible one to have in here. Oh shit, that guy can shoot through walls. Fucking didn't remember that. Did not remember that. Okay, this room's just goddamn annoying. We rolled a bunch of enemies that weren't enemies into enemies. Game. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Midas Touch is obviously useless. That's pretty useless as well. Don't like the look of this as a room. Okay, why are you slamming against me exactly? 
Mate, I'm gonna die. I don't even know what just happened in this room. Okay, get me the hell out of there. Uh, what's all this crap? Where did all this come from? Magician, I guess. Yeah, I don't know where all that crap came from. God damn. What sort of cuckoo bananas run have we created here? Oh, oh, oh my god, and you add in booster box? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, so now on kill, we have a chance to use any card or any dice. <laughs> this is silly. This is absolute lunacy. Do you know what? Blanket for an extra holy mantle on boss battles sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> Of course, you give me the fucking tower. Um, and I guess we take the negative here for the guaranteed delirium chance, if we want to go that way. And it gives us more damage, obviously. Ah, I don't even know how I'm still alive, I'll be honest. I barely know. Did I get a devil deal there and pass it up? I'm not even sure. I didn't. I literally didn't even look. Okay, all these bosses give us this damage up permanently. Well, permanently, it, like drains throughout the rest of the floor. But you know what I mean. Siren's song, unfortunately, while very good, not quite worth. Oop, I didn't realize those were enemy tears. Okay, keep moving. <laughs> My god. Just keeps rolling in. There's more enemies still, why? Couldn't we be in done there? And then all of it gets re-rolled. It's just so hard to keep track. That That's why I'm going to get hit. It's not particularly because this has made it super hard or anything. It's because it's just so difficult now to keep track of what's going on. It's so hard to sort of have a good idea of... Uh, what our stats are going to be, good idea of what enemies we're fighting, a good idea of what rocks we have to avoid. It just adds so much uncertainty to every single room. I accidentally took a token there, that was my bad. I do like it re-rolling some of the enemies, I'll be honest, but I feel like we're going to have a lot of enemy rerolls that aren't so fantastic for us. See now, room reroll like this for an annoying room, good. Rerolling all of the rocks, however, very miserable. Like, I genuinely, yeah, I guess I barely know what's, what's left to fight in this room. Rooms with a lot of enemies and a lot of rocks are, are my worst nightmare, pretty much. The fool, god damn it! There is there is a uh, teleport cards that you can get in the uh, the cards that we have available for booster box, but they cannot trigger during boss fights. So, although it's annoying now, it's not all bad. It seems to be re-rolling some things that aren't enemies into enemies too.
Um, unfortunately, do you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, although this is risky, I'm gonna go and try and get another charge to get another reroll on that, because I just don't like the idea of taking an item that literally does nothing for me. Okay, we already got a charge. I don't know why I came in here. If I die in here now, well, I didn't even need to come in. I'd be pissed. <laughs> right. I'm only doing one more redraw. If there's something else useless, I don't care. That's fine. Big old tears. See, look, like, those lasers on the walls weren't technically enemies, but it made them into enemies. It re-rolled them into enemies. It's like... Stop doing that. I will take a tears up, thank you. Okay, well, we got lucky there. That, that was just annihilation. Good old stapler, beautiful stuff. Ow. I'll come back for you. I think we're good. Vanilla wafer doesn't think does anything for us. Eternal bombs is good stuff. Unfortunately, we have missed Hush, so I wasn't really paying attention. I was going to try and do Hush. Like, what the fuck's going on in this room? Well, unless we can kill Mum in the next two seconds, it's not happening. That's my bad. Really? Really? This... This goddamn dice, I, I really want someone to make a mod to just make it, like, not as fucking useless for me. God damn. It, it's so brutal to me. So brutal. Lodestone's good stuff. Loaded D6 I think I'll actually take. And get another stapler. I don't think another lodestone does anything for us. That might do something for us. I don't know, but we'll see. We're going to delirium. Oh, well, that was unexpected. I didn't think you'd be quite so quick to fire. Okay. Making our way to the boss, hopefully. Rooms like this are nightmares as well with a ton of spiders because they can just get re-rolled into all sorts of weird shit. Get the hell out of there before anything else happens. Damn it. I'm really bad at dodging this guy. Okay, we got him good. I just put my herming on. I put my, my magician. I was saving that for delirium, but I was like, nah, this guy kills me way too often. I don't know how good Lodestone's going to end up being for us, but I think it's pretty good. You do Brimstones. And rush towards me. Not particularly a problem. You teleport about. Really should be taking these keys. Where did, where did those enemies come from, man? <laughs> Some enemies are just spawning out of nowhere, seemingly. Let's 
Got some big ass enemies over here. Got whatever the fuck this is. I literally have no idea what the enemy is. I'm escaping this room because I'm scared. Don't know, don't care. Golden bombs is kind of insane for the boss here. One, two, three. Badly timed. Okay, just instantly fucked that. Wow, somehow survived there. Gosh diddly darn. Can only take one of these, let's see what we get. We have no idea what we've got. Money equals powers there. That looks like a gun, Ouija board, and Dark Prince's crown, I think that is. So I guess we take this. Oh, that was Guppy. Fuck. Didn't even think about Guppy. <sighs> Bomber Boy's not actually good now because that makes our bombs way harder to use. How are, how are our bombs now then? Okay, they're not that bad to use. Reaper bombs, good stuff. Let's got all the pills. Gimpy. Caffeine pill and blue cap, okay. Can you die, sir? Holy shit. Whoa, 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 where the, where the fuck did all those bombs come from? Excuse me. Is that Sci-Fly? Nah, it's Willow. God damn it. I was thinking we got uber lucky then. We didn't. We just got a bit lucky. So here it is. Here's our spot. Do we want to just go to try and find some more items? It took snake oil from us and it took lump of coal from us. I just know that if I do more rooms, I'm going to fucking die, aren't I? See, look, it re-rolled all of those fucking things into goddamn other enemies. That's not fair. They weren't enemies before. They were tombstones. They were traps. Can't, can't just then decide that they're enemies. Ah, fuck it. Let's just go before we kill ourselves. Cool. So luckily it didn't take any amazing items from us. Obviously, Lump of Coal is sad to see that go, but otherwise we're mostly okay. Time of getting through the rooms here, it's just kind of hope for the best sort of gameplay here. Really? Give me two of the worst goddamn enemies I've ever seen in my life. We do have money equals power, so technically we should uh, grab all that money. I don't really care what best boss we end up seeing first here. I'd like it to be Delirium, to be honest. The less shenanigans we have to deal with, the better. Unfortunately, it ended up being the lamb. Of which we wrecked, but still. Unfortunately, we have no idea what we're getting with items here, so we could end up taking something really bad. Probably means we'd be better off taking nothing at all, but we'll sort of get to that when we come to it. Okay. 
red poop there. I mean, Soul, Soul Bum Boy is doing a lot of good stuff. I didn't mean to call him a Bum Boy there. It's not... <laughs> that was not my intention. Unfortunately, Blue Baby is a real hard boss for us here because of this uh, boss damage thing he has. So this could be a guy that we die to. If we're not careful. It's mainly the last phase that's tricky, so... We'll see how this goes. Okay, luckily that dealt with him pretty quickly. The box. Amazing. Thank you. I suppose what I could do for safety is just use loads of dice whenever I have it available. And it's just going to be an item we already earn. Right, lots and lots of rocks in this room to stay the hell away from them. Oh, hello, Guppy. Ah, cast the tower, which actually luckily is completely fine. Doesn't make any difference to us. I don't think. We don't have a spare life or anything at the moment, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Plus, we are getting extra damage off of all the bosses we're killing. Okay, this is OG Mum's heart. So let's just re-roll both of these and see what we end up getting. Another caffeine pill. Eh, whatever. Speed up and piercing shots, which we already have both of, really. Okay, so we can't really just rush room through room, by the way. We've got to be a little careful in case we've accidentally spawned, like, a red poop in the middle of the room. So we've got to be a little bit cautious of that. We got our last puzzle piece. Astral Projector, I think that is technically one free hit, right? I can't remember exactly how Astral Projector works. I never remember. There's one that I get it mixed up with. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's Chains one, whatever that one's called. Well, that was close. Don't spawn a Blood Donation Machine next to me, please. That's not, not welcome where I'm from. Is not polite. Okay, keep moving. Luckily, the D12 thing hasn't been that bad for us thus far. I really expect the D12 to be our main issue, but we've not had any, like, really bad scenarios. I mean, it's still not good. It still, like, poses a threat. Bacon grease nothing does anything for us. Here we are. So I can't remember do, because because we've got blanket. Do we get an extra holy mantle here or not? Luckily we do have lodestone, which is going to be helpful here. There's not too many rocks or anything to fuck us over. That's good. If I can get bombs in there, that'd be ideal. But I'm not going to rush to do so. A lodestone actually makes bombs a lot more viable. Thinking about it. Do some sort of slowdown there? Oh, I think we did it. We got we got a D100. At the very last second, we got a D100. My god, that, that's kind of spooky. I Must be super low chance to get that, but we did it. I think we're, we're good. My goodness, what a what an absolutely bizarre run to win. My goodness, now that should be Holy Card Godhead, finally. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.